Okay. So for problem 16, 7, now that we found both um, maximum, you know, we found the uh, maximum pressure for the left side and the right side. The left side was self-energizing and the pressure was uh, reached or reaches our maximum. This problem of statement says it's 150. The right side, I showed you guys that it's going to reach uh, almost half of it. Um, so it's like 77.4. Uh, so next thing problem statement is asking is what is the total torque, break torque capacity of the system? So we have to find the left side and the right side, torque capacity for the left side and the right side. So for that, we can use the equations we had here. Basically, your torque, break torque is going to be this. Um, we can use equation 6-6. Six, six. So that equation, you see F times dn is my friction force times the radius of your disk is going to give me my torque due to friction. And the this integral should be taken from theta 1 to theta 2. For our problem, for the left-hand side, and you know, if you take this integral, this is the formula. So for the left side, let me For the left side, what I had was, for the left side, I had coefficient of friction is the same, 0.3, right? And then I had, uh, um, okay, TA for the left side was 150, R was um, 10 squared. And what was B? B was 2. And times cosine of 6 degrees minus cosine of 136 degrees. Theta 1 and theta 2 divided by sine of theta A. Since our uh, shoes were long enough, theta A was 90. So, so for the left side, my torque Breaking torque is going to be, let me calculate that, 0 0.3 times 150 times 100 times 2 times, then cosine of 6 minus cosine of 136. All right, so I'm getting 15,000. Four two four. All right, so pound in. For the right side, everything is the same other than the pressure, right? So I can, I don't need to calculate everything. My pressure was uh, almost half of that, so it was uh, 77.4 divided by 150 times this torque that I found. So my torque was, let me see. Uh, okay, my original torque is uh, 15, I mean for left side, 424. Oh, 15, 424. So for the right side is 7960 pounds. All right, so add these two guys to each other. Then my total break capacity of this design is 15, 4, 2, 4, is 23, 383. Okay, I rounded that. And then uh, if you want to, this is pound inch. If you want to have it in pound feet, 
let me divide it by 12. And if you want to find it in kilopound also, I divide it again by 1,000. So I will have 1.949 kilopound foot. All right? So this is my torque straightforward capacity of the system without reaching uh, the ultimate, like the allowable pressure on my brake shoe. All right, so uh, this is about it. The problem 16.7, which was a very good problem I like to do for you guys. Uh, the plan was to do it in class, but uh, I prefer to do this one first for you in class. So uh, this one was uh, simpler. We have the actuation force directly. For this one, you guys had to find the forces yourself. So the maximum actuation force was 350, to summarize the result, was 363. And the torque was 1.95 kilopound feet. All right, I hope you guys find this video useful.